Hello guys, I want to welcome you to uh, my channel, uh, welcome to another video, uh, this is uh, Laurent, um, I'm really T1 but uh, on YouTube right now my channel is T Dose, so I'd like you to uh, like, share and subscribe. Um, this is a new channel uh, and we are here to talk about HBCU, that's a historically black colleges and universities, um, in particular bands, HBCU bands. Um, <clears throat> growing up in the uh, 80s and 90s, you know, the band, uh, for me anyway, was the reason to go to the football games. And uh, I think it was last season, uh, the 2021 season, um, you know, I could have tickets uh, to the University of Central Florida and Bethune-Cookman game. Um, I was in the, the box uh, on the uh, UCF side. Of course, I'm there to support um, Bethune-Cookman. And uh, there were some people out there said, so, yeah, man, I'm just here for the, you know, for the band. <laughs> And uh, they scored. And then they were like, wow, they, uh, they actually were playing pretty decent. Now, they did lose the game, uh, but they actually uh, they played some good ball. So um, I was impressed and started following uh, the actual football uh, quite a bit. And um, got really uh, started nerding out on HBCU football, uh, primarily SWAC football since um, Bethune-Cookman, um, uh, you know, FAMU uh, joined the SWAC uh, back in 2021. 20, uh, so, but anyway, uh, it was a, the genesis of me getting uh, really excited um, uh, about HBCU uh, sports particularly, um, but there's a lot of content <laughs> right now on HBCU football, especially now that, you know, Jackson State is, um, quote unquote, dominating everyone uh, right now. It's only on you know, the first game, but the way they uh, dominated uh, FAMU uh, was definitely, um, um, you know, anyway, um, it was surprising. You know, I, I don't think anyone thought uh, that it would be that dominant of a game. But, um, <clears throat> of course, for me, as a band nerd, you know, I was there for the bands. And a lot of people who I've been listening to on uh, YouTube as far as the different band channels and the reaction videos, a lot of them are sleeping on Bethune Cutman. Um, when it comes to a lot of things, and uh, also FAMU. Um, uh, people who really know music, uh, you know, will probably beg to differ. Um, but I wanted to have a channel that went into depth, um, especially with the drum line, but the overall uh, completeness of HBCU bands. So, um, you know, I'm a percussionist. Uh, and I feel uh, that uh, not a lot of attention has been put on uh, the differences in the HBCU band programs, and particularly the drum lines. Um, so uh, that's what we're going to be doing here. Uh, primarily, we're going to be definitely taking uh, tunnel uh, videos. Uh, we're going to uh, showcase a lot of the bands. Um, <clears throat> I was at the Jackson State, the OBC, Jackson State uh, and Family Game this uh, past weekend. And um, I guess let me back up. So at the University of Miami and Bethune Cookman game, of course, you know, we lost 70 to 13. But uh, after the halftime show, it was amazing. They got a standing ovation. I mean, everyone in the stands um, 
were definitely there supporting uh, the band. I mean, they they were very impressed. Um, they were, you know, clapping and, uh, you know, pulling out their cameras, uh, taking their videos, and I've seen a couple of those uh, uploads uh, on YouTube. So, um, but then the next day, I go to the OBC, you know, um, and I'm on the Jackson State side because that's where my tickets were in the shade. But um, the interesting thing was the drum line for Jackson State really didn't, to me, sound that good. I'm not sure if it was where I was sitting and the acoustics, the, the sound didn't just bounce off good, but I was literally right in front of the band. You know, I was on the 50-yard line, literally. Um, and I, it seemed like they were either off-tempo or it wasn't uh, clear at all. So, uh, again, um, that was my first time that I can remember uh, hearing uh, the boom uh, of Jackson State. So, uh, I'm not going to, you know, say that trash. <laughs> Um, right now, but I will say that I really didn't um, uh, enjoy um, from where I was sitting, you know, um, the band experience. Uh, they were loud, and I think that's something that I'm um, kind of getting that, you know, a lot of folks think that loud is better, uh, but um, from where I was sitting, it wasn't really together. Um, but we will have uh, an opportunity to uh, talk about that and uh, the differences between the more, um, I don't want to say traditional drum lines, but um, when you look at the Scotch bass drums, right? And that's basically the real big bass drum and they all uh, are tuned to the same note uh, or should be. Tune to the same note, and then you have the tenors, uh, multi tenors, snares, cymbals. That's the line, the drum line, right? But then when you have lines like uh, Bethune Cookman, Fam, a lot of the MIAC schools, um, the bass drums are tonal, do, 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 do. right? Maybe uh, four or five um, different sized bass drums, and then you have scotches as well. But then you have the uh, tenors, um, uh, either chest tenors, like what Bethune Cookman has, um, or you have the tenors that are, you know, straight down. And then you have, uh, of course, snares, multi-tenors, and then you have the cymbal line. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm biased, uh, so I'll go ahead and admit that. But my experience over the time has, has been uh, listening to Bethune Cookman. And that, that's what my um, ear is attuned to. That's what I like. All right? uh, it's more of a drum core uh, feel. Still groovy, um, but a lot of notes. These, uh, again, you see, it's just brothers. These, um, these students are... They, they're, they're great. In, in my opinion, not just mine, I believe it was HBCU Drumline Talk. Um, shout out to y'all. Um, they actually had Bethune Cookman ranked as number one, which is, again, number one uh, HBCU Drumline. I do feel that that's the case. Uh, but <clears throat> want to be able to have an opportunity where we can actually showcase them and... Um, see for yourselves but also not just be a channel where you can just talk um or see a reaction but we want to actually talk about it all right so we're going to get our phone line set up uh we can call in definitely comment below now um and we'll definitely keep you uh, abreast of when uh, that technology is available again we're at the genesis of this right now uh, but we will be uh, at a point where we're going to be um you know, growing the channel and growing the space uh, where other band nerds and band heads out there can 
uh, can really talk about this. Um, you know, music is is one of those things that can get you in the mood and can get you out of the mood. You know, um, so um, I would love to to hear your feedback um, so far. Um, this is video number two, and I wasn't sure if I was going to be in front of the camera or not. Um, you know, I talk for a living, but this is something that is different. Um, so, going to keep me prayed up. Appreciate it. Um, but we are here, and we're going to be talking about some uh, HBCU drum lines. Uh, and you, even if some HWCU um, schools out there that um, um, that seem uh, impressive that we want to bring into the discussion, but <clears throat> you know it's possible. But right now, uh, our focus is our um, historically black colleges and universities. Uh, uh, that's the, the space that we're in, and I believe uh, they give the best opportunity um, for our kids. So um, at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and get signed off. But please. Before you leave, uh, hit the like button um, and also subscribe. Uh, we're going to have some videos coming up pretty soon. Uh, this weekend we have the Jackson, excuse me, no we don't. Um, well, we do have the uh, Jackson State and uh, Tennessee State um, in the Southern Heritage Classic uh, in Memphis. Um, but we also are going to have the game where I'll be live at, which will be the Bethune-Cookman University uh, against uh, South Carolina State University. So uh, we're going to be uh, showcasing those two bands uh, if South Carolina State comes. Uh, hopefully they do. They normally do anyway. Um, so let's uh, share the screen, the stream and uh, give me your feedback, please. Uh, this is video number two and um, we thank you for watching. Peace.